Hello everyone. Uh, I just wanted to talk to you about what I've been uh, doing with my pedal board. Um, what I've been, uh, I got I got the base six coming in the mail. It's been delayed. Uh, they say because of weather conditions. So I don't know when it's going to come in. It's supposed to come in first on Friday. Then it said uh, Tuesday, and now it just says like it's up in the air. So I don't know when it's going to come in. Hopefully sometime this week, but. When it comes, I'm going to, uh, it's a Gretsch Baritone. So uh, I read that people have converted to the basics. So I'm gonna do that. I had the old Gretsch Baritone with the Bigsby on it and I was able to convert that to basics. Uh, so I should be able to do this one just as, just as easy, but even better because it's got the stop tail piece. I can actually use the thicker Ernie Ball strings. Anyway, so I got my pedal board and uh, I, I tested out what I what I plan on doing and it works out pretty good. I took the phaser off my pedal board and then I slid over my uh, octave fuzz and my univibe. I slid it over to that place and then I put the bass driver DI, the Sansam bass driver DI, right there in between those pedals and the tuner. So now it goes uh, wah, tuner, bass driver DI, then the uh, vibe octave that I slid over, and then the rest of the board. And so how I wired it was, and I was, I was worried about, uh, because the bass driver DI has a buffer, I was worried it was going to mess with my fuzzes, but I used the parallel out. So it doesn't go through the buffer. And so basically it, the parallel out goes into the rest of my pedal board. And then the regular out I'm sending to my uh, Fender bass amp, uh, which is like a BX 300 or BF or something like that. It's a, it's old main America solid state 300 watt bass amp, Fender bass amp. And then my, my pedal board goes through, you know, it's normal route and it ends up into my Fender Basement piggyback. And together, I, I test this out, and which you'll see in a little bit, with my P-Bass, and it, I was getting some really good results. Um, I, I uh, tried first with uh, octave, 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 just normal, and then turning on my distortion pedal, my RAT, and, uh, having the clean through the bass amp and in the the basement getting the distortion and it sounded really big but i don't know if it might sound too big or not so that's step one step two i tried was i took the the uh octave on my whammy and i had an octave up and i turned that on and so now it's octaving up the the bass to guitar uh range and then that is being blended with the bass at its normal range and that sounded good too and i might use that like for where you know uh if nando has to do a solo and i need to you know play like a rhythm and it needs to be down and and or i guess up in pitch uh to where a normal guitar is. So I, it, all this is gonna be experimenting when I have the, the pedal or when I have the bass six and I can mess with the pedal of like, does it sound better with it all octave? Does it sound better with it uh, just bass, bass? Like, cause I know Failure, uh, their bass player would play, you know, distorted chords. Like uh, I was watching a Rick Beato video on the, uh, I forgot what song it was, but it showed him like ja 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 you know and i'm like going that'd be kind of cool you know but you never know it depends on how it sounds in the band uh i always wanted a three piece and uh you switching over to the bass allows me to have that and now all those those jokes i made about bass players like i i basically made about myself so uh and and when i when i'm not doing my job i can i can sit there and go like yeah see I'm uh, like Doc Holliday in uh, Tombstone said, my hypocrisy knows no bounds. So, uh, I, and I always stick my foot in my mouth. So it's, it's, it's par with the course. So, but yeah, switching over to that. And the, 
we're testing it out. If it works out good, it's that's it. That's what it is. Uh, another thing I could test out, though, because right now basically what I'm doing is like a reverse local H because he has a, a guitar and he octaves up and sends to a bass amp and then he has his guitar amp. I could try that too if, if I, you know, if, if, if I feel like I, I don't, I'm not doing the bass as much, like it really, it really got to depend, it depends on how well the practices go and how well I can integrate it. And cause, cause I really like, I, I've made the case where I'm like, going, yeah, I don't want an, I don't want another person in. We're, we're fine as a three piece. And uh, if I got to play bass, if I got to Paul McCartney it and, and, and uh, fall on the sword, uh, I'll do it, you know, so hopefully that works out and, uh, the power trio is born, uh, and I'll just, you know, I'll use my pedal board and to kind of be able to do both things. I will also have the volume on my pedal board because it goes, uh, it goes into the volume, uh, before, uh, the whammy actually. And so what's kind of cool is I can pull the volume pedal back and then I just have the the signal going to the bass amp. And then when I push it forward, then I get the bassman and the guitar. So I could actually just leave the whammy on at all times. And then and then basically, if, if I want to always be up a pitch and then just go between the two. But then I have a problem of like, can I play the guitar without the bass? So... Uh, I, I was meant to go there this weekend, but I, I ended up not. Uh, and I, I didn't get a picture of my pedal board with the uh, bass driver DI on it. So uh, I, 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 want, I, I wanted to get that. I forgot to get that picture because uh, after I was filming, we went eight and I never got the picture and I forgot. And so I was going to get it this weekend and I didn't get it. But I, I definitely want to uh, see if I can get my my guitar by itself so i could try like ha setting the because the bass driver di is is off i don't even have it on but what i could do is have the on position with the volume down see if that works and what i could do is use it as a mute to turn off my signal so then i can just get the guitar or whatever i, I it depends like if, if I go all on in bass, I really don't have to worry about that, I guess. But, you know, it's, it's uh, like I said, all up in there. We haven't practiced with it yet. I haven't got it in the mail yet. And uh, so I don't even know how well it's going to work. So anyway, that's all for this week. Uh, here's the video of uh, me trying it out with the P bass. So you kind of kind of hear an idea of what how it's going to sound. And then... Uh, have a good one.